Hey, hey, it's Keely from Thermal Tech Australia, and today we're going to be talking about what bottlenecking is, how it affects your games, how it happens, and what you can do to prevent it. To briefly explain, bottlenecking is when you have one or more parts in your PC that cannot work to their full potential due to limitations of other less powerful parts in your PC. They're all trying to process and transfer data between each other at the same speed as your most powerful part, but are unable to due to their limitations. For example, say you have the latest graphics card, but an entry-level CPU and some old RAM. The graphics card is essentially being held back from reaching its max potential because the CPU and the memory can't work fast enough to feed the GPU data to keep it functioning at max power. So it essentially has to bring itself down to their level and twiddle its thumbs. This is bad because the huge difference in processing speeds will often display itself in a sudden loss of frames in your game. As your GPU is idle, waiting to receive data from your CPU who's struggling to catch up. And who wants to spend all this money on GPUs in the current market and not even use all of its power? This tends to happen most often to people just getting into PC gaming who put all of their eggs in one basket, so to speak. They get the latest and greatest CPU or GPU just to insert it into their current rig and expect 10 times performance increase. When in reality, you're hardly gonna see that upgrade and as this shiny new part is held back from everything else in that PC. You could have spent the same amount of money to improve everything just a little bit and seen a much greater performance increase. To stop this from happening to you, the key is to balance out the configuration of your parts so that their processing loads are a lot more evenly matched. Doing this will provide a far more noticeable performance increase rather than heavily investing in just the single part. To see if your PC suffers from bottlenecking, you can open up Task Manager, head over to Performance and look at the percentage of power that's being used by your PC parts. They should all be relatively balanced, but if one is clearly chugging more than the others, you've got yourself a bottleneck. So how do we avoid it? Well, the best way is to plan ahead to prevent this from ever happening in the first place. That means spending a little bit of extra time planning the build to make sure that all of your parts work together nicely before you go out and buy them all. If you're already experiencing one though, the answer is a little bit less fun. Considering the parts are already in your PC, the most you can do is try and ease the load carried by your CPU, GPU and memory before you get into games. That means doing things like closing unnecessary background tasks or even overclocking your CPU if possible to do so, so it can process data quicker. Otherwise, a hefty purchase may be in your near future if The Witcher 3 is still continuing to chug along at 15 we need frames. Some milk. So there you have it. Hopefully this video helps you understand what bottlenecking is and how it affects your games. If you think I've missed anything, be sure to chuck it down in the comment section below. Also, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Ding in the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. Also, while you're still here, be check out, be, be check out, be sure to check out one of these thermal tech videos floating above me somewhere. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. The video's probably in front of you. Oh, yeah, in front of me, not behind me. <laughs> here? Probably, maybe, maybe here. Yeah. 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 Bye. Thermal tech. <laughs> <laughs>